I've been asked um, a couple of times how uh, we put together the radio controlled marks. So as I had to take this one apart uh, to fix a small leak in it, I thought I'd take the opportunity of showing you how it's put together. I'll just take the lid off. Uh, basically these are run with two small bait boat motors. Uh, these are 2110-5 motors. You can buy them on AliExpress for five or six pounds, something like that. The hole in the middle is where the anchor will be lifted up into. These anchors are just fishing weights. These are 900 gram two pound fishing weights. And that is when it's lifted up, it goes in, it goes into about halfway there and it sits there when you're moving the mark. Uh, right, let's look inside. <coughs> so inside in the center we have arledited in a um, piece of um, tubing I think it's two and a half inch rain, uh, drain pipe tubing and I've put a wooden plug in the top of it and there's a it's a bit of a biro pen put through to lift it up well above the water line that the actual winch line comes through and there's another small bracket here that holds um, it's just actually, I can't remember, it's a toothpick or a, or a, or a, a skewer or something, a little bit of wood, which comes through. And when the mark is up in its place, this moves up and switches off the micro switch and that takes the power off the, the winch. Okay, inside, electronics are all along the top. These are just cheap, generic uh, ESCs, electronic speed controls. I think I paid less than £2 each for these on AliExpress and the three switches for them, although normally we just switch them all on and off at one go. And I'm using um, a Flysky um, 16, um, uh, or a fly, well, one of these common Flysky um, uh, transmitters and a Flysky IA6 receiver. This is a six channel receiver and we use four of the channels. Uh, channels one and two go to the two motors and the motors are in here. This is where the stubs come up and I've just, they're just, um, uh, these are just um, siliconed in. Move that wire out of the way so you can see. These are just siliconed in and then there's a cable tie, ties them to this these blocks of wood here so that they don't move anywhere. So those are the two motors. And then there's a room, the rest of the room here is taken up by the various sub assemblies. Um, and I'll show you these. There's a winch sub-assembly. There's another little sub-assembly goes on here to um, drop the anchor. And on this side we have the actual winch servo sub-assembly. So let's look at the sub-assemblies. Uh, this is the winch one. <coughs> okay, lift that up and see. Now the winch um, basically is um, driven from a servo through, I'll put two of these together so that there's no alignment problems. This holds about uh, five to six meters of two millimeter polyester rope, just runs through a small block and then it goes down through the middle of that. Now the actual sub-assembly itself um, is bolted into the floor and it's on a pivot and this uh, gear on this side meshes with a gear on the servo so that it drives the winch and when we want to dr drop the actual anchor the servo on the other side just lifts this up and that disconnects it from the winch and lets this run free so this will just spin out as the anchor drops. The little bit of um, uh, sponge rubber, it's actually a scarring pad I've cut down, is there. It just sits inside that because we found that when you drop the anchor, this spins out so fast that it throws the anchor line up over the edge of the drum and then you get all sorts of problems when you go to wind it in again. So that's the first sub-assembly that goes in. Uh, the second one is, this is just uh, a 35 kilogram servo. Now, 
I'm all a bit new to this servo stuff, so I didn't know what, how to specify that. I could probably get away with a smaller one. Uh, I've converted this to a winch by removing the electronics and wiring directly to the motor. So that comes to the speed controller. And this then meshes with this. And that winds it up or can let it pay it out. But um, so what actually happens when you drop it is the uh, the winch itself is pivoted up and separates from the, ser the drive servo and it drops it. And the only other small sub-assembly is just a small winch, a small servo I should say, and it connects directly onto this lever on the end of the uh, winch servo or the winch assembly and it just lifts it up to drop the anchor and then we drop it back down again. So let's put it all together and I'll show you how it works. Okay, let's show you this working. Um, I've just set it up on blocks so we can see the bottom of it and how it works. Um, the anchor is in its parked position, which is not quite inside the body. Um, we've got it set up. We've got the uh, transmitter and the receiver bound, bound and so on. And I'll just show you what happens here. The starboard motor is in channel one. The port motor is in channel two. But I have them bound together using the Elevon function in uh, the fly sky radio so that when i press um using the right hand stick i go forward they both run forward or back or i can run them left or right and uh, that works really well differential steering now the other two items that have to work are the servo motor and it works on i've put it on switch uh, c here so this is a three position switch so i can either pay out or pull it up and the last one here runs the small motor that lifts the unit up so to drop the anchor so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you the anchor being dropped so all I have to do is flick this switch up I'll just move out of the way so you can see the anchor dropping and the anchor is dropped and then I lock it off again and uh, that has locked off the um, uh, I'll just put the two cog wheels back in mesh so that the anchor doesn't go in it drift away you can pay it out a little bit if you need to but normally we just leave it like that and then when we finished or we want to move the mark all i actually have to do then is use uh, this key to wind it up and it gets up so far and when it gets right to the inside of its body the micro switch trips and switches off the part of the servo uh, that's it. I'll just show you a close-up of those things working now. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to release the... I'm going to let the anchor drop. So this little servo here is going to raise this arm and the mesh between these two will, will break. So let's just drop it now. So that's the anchor dropped and I'll just lock it back down in place again. And that means that it'll stop spooling out anymore. So if you're actually on the water, you've now anchored the, put the anchor down and you've stopped the mark drifting away from it because it's now locked and that's, that's got a break on it, that particular ESC. So that's fine. And then when we need to bring it back up again, we just use the hold button and that activates until it gets to the top and then it switches the servo off. So that's it, that's the way it works and it's just done a great job for us.